Within our culture, the mammary gland or breast is a taboo part of the body. Relatively speaking, you can't publicly shake an open female breast, you can't publicly touch an open female breast, and it's not very good at a bra either. At the same time, the mammary glands are the same part of our body as everything else, like the toes, or back, or the chin. There are problems with this part of the body too. These problems lead to the fact that the appearance of a woman worsens. These problems lead to the fact that the chest hurts, causing rather unpleasant suffering. And besides, breast problems lead to the fact that a woman gets sick and dies earlier than she should. I mean, breast cancer, for example. In this video, we will talk with you about how to manually work with the mammary glands. I will give you a practice that you need to do for 5 to 10 minutes, and if you practice several times a week, it will noticeably improve the shape of the breast. This will avoid problems associated with soreness during feeding or menstruation, and to some extent, assure you against the risk of breast cancer. I will ask the operator to come closer and will show you the three main breast problems. So the first problem in the mammary gland is the difficulty of lymphatic outflow from the axillary lymph nodes. Very often I am approached by patients who have had their mammary gland removed and almost always with the removal of the mammary gland the removal of the axillary lymph nodes occurs. This tells me with a high degree of probability that first the lymph nodes are affected, which drain the lymph from the mammary gland, then the toxic substances that should have been removed with the lymph accumulate in the chest, which leads to mutagenesis, which leads to the formation of cancer. Accordingly, in order for us to ensure against a deterioration in the condition of the mammary gland, it is imperative to free the lymph nodes that drain lymph from the chest. Here we must remember the usual rule that before working with the lymphatic system we first need to work with the venous angle, then we need to work with the subclavian artery and only then start working with the lymph nodes located in the armpit. Lymph nodes which are located in the armpit are located firstly directly in the armpit itself and secondly they are located on the lateral surface of the mammary gland. Here we need to understand that the main movement after we have opened the venous angle and the subclavian artery, the main movement is the injection of lymph into the axillary lymph nodes. We must remember that this movement should be as delicate as possible, slow and careful. I show it somewhat exaggeratedly in order to see the essence of the movement through the YouTube screen. But in principle, if we talk about the correct work, then it will look something like this. I will fix my hand on the lateral surface of the mammary gland and armpit, and with slow, barely noticeable movements, they will move my hand towards the armpit. A good result of this work will be a reduction in seals in the armpit and in the chest area. The second movement we have to make is a straightforward movement in the opposite direction. The fact is that the mammary gland can be represented as a brush of grapes where each grape is a bubble of the mammary gland and the tails that connect the grapes with a common brush are ducts, and the final ducts go to the nipple. In fact, the mammary gland is needed in order to feed the baby with milk. Accordingly, each vesicle of the mammary gland must have a connection with the duct in the nipple. In some cases, these ducts become clogged, which causes the small amount of breast secretions that is released from the breast. Even if women do not feed, the secret stops leaving the breast. Here in our model, I observe seals. These seals are perceived by me as some kind of dense lumps inside the mammary gland. A normal mammary gland should be more or less uniform in all directions. If you feel any areas in your chest that are painful, or feel areas of a different density, then it is almost certainly closed breast ducts. How do we work with them? Here you need to understand that if in some place the duct is clogged, then there are several options. So the first way to improve the patiency of the duct of the mammary gland is sucking. Here we are talking about women who have given birth and women who have not given birth. Relatively speaking, the creation of a vacuum around the halo around the nipple leads to the fact that the ducts of the mammary glands expand and this leads to the fact that some secret comes out of the gland and this helps to cleanse the mammary gland. Here a woman can turn to a loved one to suck her breasts or we can put a jar on the nipple. Here we must remember that the load should be soft and delicate, so as not to increase the inflammatory process associated with blockage of the mammary gland ducts for the excessive vacuum. The second method that is applicable in the framework of a paid massage will be the method that I am now practicing at the time when I tell you all these. 
I found a seal in the chest. It is perceived as a bubble and I began to work on this area of high density from different sides. Relatively speaking, I do not put pressure directly on the compaction zone itself. God forbid you do this. You approach the seal and as it were begin to feel it from different sides as if we had some kind of tooth that aches with us. We do not press directly on the tooth, we move it in different directions. We do the same with the compaction zone. We enter it from different sides without directly touching this zone. We do this very slowly and delicately. Your task is to find the border of the seal, put your fingertips on the border and lightly press on this border between the seal and the normal structure of the mammary gland. Where it leads. This will lead to the fact that the ducts, there are muscles inside them, the ducts will relax and accordingly those seals that are associated with the fact that the secret of the mammary gland cannot normally exit the chest. This secret will slowly begin to depart, and moreover, at the moment when we press, we contribute to the additional release of this secret, and thus this secret begins to put pressure on the plugs, partially dissolves them, and partially exits through the ducts, through the nipple. So I work with this compaction for about 5 to 10 minutes, and I clearly observe that the compaction is systematically decreasing. Here we must remember that this work should be repeated more or less regularly. Here we must understand that you will get good long-term results after at least 10 procedures. It is quite obvious that with age, the number of seals usually only increases, and accordingly, the risk of serious illnesses due to these seals also systematically increase. Well, I have already worked with the left breast and I like almost everything and the axillary lymph nodes are gone and the seals along the ducts have also disappeared. For example, with the right breast there are quite clearly areas where such a goo exists and it would be nice to relax this goo too. I can't leave my model with one cute breast and the other unhealthy. We find this seal. Here a curious fact is that on the left breast the seal was on top and on the right breast the seals are on the side and below. These things are often associated with the fact that a person has distortions in posture respectively every time we have a body misalignment in posture this leads to difficulty in the movements of lymph through our body. And in this sense, when we work with human health, it is fundamentally important on the one hand to be able to work with the lymphatic system, on the other hand to understand the prerequisites that the lymphatic system has broken down and repair the whole body so that the lymph will work normally in the future. And we continue, and while I was telling you all this, work at the mammary gland was going on at the same time. Slowly, I observed how the ducts relax and the nodules inside the chest soften. It happens right in the process. I think that in order to get a final good result, we will need to carry out this procedure several more times. At least 20 minutes still needs to be spent on working with the right mammary gland, because there is some kind of long-standing process of spasm and inflammation. Well, the third movement that I recommend to everyone is to work directly with the breast tissue itself. After you have done the work of draining the lymph from the chest and after you have done the work of relaxing the milk ducts, after you have removed soreness in the chest, the next movement will be a rotational movement along the chest, twisting the chest towards the armpit. It helps to regulate the structure of the lymph movement and it tones up the tissues of the membrane glands itself in an additional way. Such a movement on both sides, 15 to 20 movements in each direction, will lead to the fact that the structure of the mammary gland will noticeably improve. The tissues will become denser, which will lead to better blood circulation and in turn improve the shape of the breast. It can be done on both sides at the same time. We, as it were, take the chest into the palm of our hand and perform a rotational movement as if twisting and twisting the chest outward. This can be done very well on your own. Any of these movements can be perfectly done on your own. Let's summarize. First, working with the lymph nodes will lead you to the fact that you will significantly reduce the risk of breast cancer. Secondly, work with the ducts and lymph nodes will significantly reduce pain during menstruation, during pregnancy, during feeding. Significantly reduce the risk of mastopathy and mastitis. 
Accordingly, if we're talking about the third movement, it significantly improves the tone of the mammary gland tissue of the breast and thus improves the appearance of the breast and in addition improves the blood supply to the breast. Thus it additionally ensures us against breast diseases. I am sincerely grateful to you for watching this video to the end. Write in the comments how much the topic of the mammary glands interests you, how much your loved ones have experienced breast problems, how worried you are about the shape of the breast, how much you believe that breasts can be changed through manual procedures. Perhaps you have some secret recipes for how you improve the condition of your mammary glands, whether by manual means or by means of some portices. And be sure to write us about it, because our community is extremely interested in reading what you have going on in your real life. And be sure to, of course, subscribe to the channel, because our main goal is for you to be with us, so that you are satisfied, so that you get a lot of useful information that will change your life for the better. Well, as always, Stanislav Chernonov was with you, the author and creator of the online school Vector Massage and Somatics, and the YouTube channel of the same name, where we deal with complex topics and learn how to work with them in simple ways, and most importantly, make good money on it. Until we meet again, friends, goodbye.